Let's get into Joe Biden because things are getting more and more worrying when it comes to the president's mental acuity, as if you didn't already know there was a problem. On Friday, there was a 354-page report from the Justice Department that brought into question Biden's, quote, faulty memory. So Biden then thought, or perhaps more to the point, he didn't think at all, that he should hold a press conference to dispel those nasty rumours. And, well, here it is. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out of is your memory and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad I let you speak. That's, uh, that's, that's my memory. memory has gotten worse, Mr. So look, president? My memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Oh, oh about it. Paul, <laughs> what on... Who, who let him do that? He well, should not have done that. I reckon his staff didn't want him to do it. He was so annoyed at the commentary inside that report and embarrassed by some of the detail that he went, no, no, I got this, don't worry. Out I go. But also... What was, and again, I'm not going to descend the conversation into a conversation about war. The actual, if you saw the whole thing, the actual distraction the White House was planning out of this press conference was him starting to say stuff, uh, tough stuff about Gaza. When That's why he went back when he was asked a planted question about it, and then that's the first time he said that, uh, that the Israeli response was over the top. Because their hope was, bang, US president says this, get rid of this issue. Mm. So that was, that was the defensive tactic that was attempted. But this was absolute proof of the bloke who does not deserve another four years. Mm. And I would have thought that uh, Trump, once he got on the stage today, would have done nothing but bash the living. But instead, Trump turned around today and said that Russia should invade uh, countries that don't pay enough money to NATO. The only reason Biden is president is because of the hatred of Trump. And despite the fact that he is deficient, he is wrong, it is dangerous, he willfully kept... Um, that information, he shared it with his ghostwriter and the ghostwriter had tapes of that conversation, but they have been erased, means that he's not going to end up in a criminal scenario, which means we're going to have a scenario again of Biden versus Trump and, again, it's a referendum about how many people uh, hate Trump. Now, I, I desperately want something else. America and the world deserves better than either that choice, but certainly that bloke getting another four years. I think but was, his it, performance was a disgrace. But can I you imagine, if, if, that, if that is him right now and we get another mm. four years of Biden, the dude is legitimately going to be not in a home. for the guy saying... Mm. Russia can invade whatever country. I, I, I know, and this, but this is the problem. This is the problem. Like, the, he will legitimately I'm be. I like the member. Trump stuff. I'm fluent in Trumpology. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling that might not be. A but I'm saying what? But I'm saying what? I mean, why would you not just let that be the story for a week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah why yeah. would you just not let that and his response and the details of the report instead go out, bluster, change the subject, so all the lefty media who were being dragged to actually. Talk Say the it. emperor has no clothes, yeah. in this case, brain, they are all now allowed to change the subject straight away. Yeah, I agree. Evelyn? I, I think it was this sa very same uh, interview that Biden did where he got the Mexican border Correct. mixed That's up right. with yep. the Gaza, Palestine, right. yeah, that whole debacle. Well, they're like, both wow. southern borders, so <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> sort of in the ballpark. Like, <laughs> but this is the thing. Like, I wouldn't get in a car with this bloke if he was driving it, but he's got the, the car keys to the free world. <laughs> like, it's, it's well, absolute lunacy. Uh, Do you know the US president is not allowed to drive, but also mm -hmm. after president, you're never allowed to drive? It's probably so, a good so thing. It's thing. Oh, every every road 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 all of them can never drive again. This is the conundrum, though. If he admits that he is mentally... Uh, incapable, he doesn't have the cognitive ability, then, you know, he basically has to step down yeah. from being president. They're but if, he, now. if he's doing what he's doing here, then the full force, the full weight of the law needs to come crashing down on this bloke because, like, I, I know that, like, the whole issue with Trump and all of this stuff, but, I mean, Trump was only done for the same thing.
And, and he was. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. This is this is just beyond he's a joke protected now. He, us. He has, Biden he and the to, Democrats. He has to go, us. and I don't see how anyone in the Democrats could now not realise <laughs> that this is absolutely terminal. And that if Biden doesn't go, they are just handing the keys to the White House to Donald Trump, despite all their hysteria about what that would mean. Um, he absolutely has to go. I agree with Paul. I reckon it was it was his Prince Andrew moment. All the advice going, no, no, no way. It's going to be great. Everything's going to be fine. I'm great at interviews. One, one um, wonders whether Biden. And, and then Mexico. confusing Mexico and Egypt is just... Oh, it's just... It's so... And, and, but it's also... I, and I, can, I can see how he did it, because I reckon he's you know, a southern border, southern border. Blah, yeah, blah, correct. Blah. So yeah. suddenly the president of Mexico... Is... Everything's interchangeable in his brain, right? Where, oh, I might have got the wrong French president, but I mentioned a French president. Yes, that's yeah. right. I mentioned a German chancellor. So I get points for kind of being there or thereabouts. As but it's kind of like there. not just like <laughs> misspeaking. That's what kind of what I mean. Like it shows that his brain is scrambled. Of course. Yeah. Just at the wrong... But yeah. this mash, is the thing. He, he allegedly got 80 million votes. The, the, the most votes in all the, you know, history of presidency. There is absolutely no way any rational normal, logical human being could ever believe that he would get 80 million votes yeah, again. But they voted so, for a dude who'd had a stroke <laughs> in Pennsylvania. This is the... What I am particularly heartbroken about, about this incredible country, is that Team Red versus Team Blue, you, are, you still are loyal to your side when it's just me yeah. puppets. Like, yeah. it's not even about <clears throat> them or it's their like limitations. It's like that in Australia as well with Labor and Liberal. Well, yeah, to, 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 yeah, to a degree. But, 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 but I'm saying ridiculous. And look, young people are not into him at the moment, which is why he turned around and said what he said. I, look, I just... You've got to hope that there is a mechanism, and I know that there's super delegates at the convention who might technically, but the thing is, is that there's a process that's playing out right now, and I love all the commentary again about, you know, um, why don't, you know, if people hate Trump, go to Nikki Haley because that'll get rid of Trump from the politics. Well, guess what? There are two, at least two, that are running against him in the Democratic primary, mm. yet they're mm. getting four-fifths of bugger all. He's getting 96% mm. of the vote. So if Democrats want to save themselves from having to prop up yeah. that meat puppet, I know. there are other options on the table, but they won't. But they're, do, they're doing yeah, it to I, themselves. I think he will, he will say there'll ridiculous. be a new health reason. He'll say I've just had advice from. But then you get Harris, and I'll take. Oh Harris. No, 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 no! You get Michelle no, Obama. No, Michelle no, Obama. No, you bring no, in Michelle. Who no. came no. to the presidency? I lived in the White House for eight years. Yeah, that's oh, fine. Who God. cares? If you've got like the God help us. Though, like I, I, I got to shut this down. God help us all at the at the thought of that at all.